hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel as you already know i am making passing packages and important videos for the vtu students now i have just started the lecture series of this particular subject that is computer aided engineering drawing which is the most important subject basic subject for all engineering students who are there no matter which branch you have no matter which college you have over there so it is common for all branches so as you already aware of the uh, relationship between mathematics and physics like uh, mathematics is the uh, what we call language of the physics over there so same like a computer aided engineering drawing it is the language for the engineering so you should learn this language first then only it becomes comfortable for you people to later on understand the concepts of 3d modeling like that so you have to uh, you have some concepts about this particular subject you have to come across not for just passing so just remember the concepts over here so let me uh, make this lecture series cake walk for you let me make this series very easy for you people to understand the concepts let us start with the module first a very basic module in which uh, we start with the projection of points which is the basic for all uh, the what we call as projection is like projection of lines projection of plans projection of solids pro uh, isometric projection whatever the projections are there so it is the basic uh, what we call topic for all those topics right so this is the difficult one then if you just understand the points concept so it becomes easy for you people to understand all those concepts which which will come later on so stay connected with me which is uh, it is the most important topic which i will cover in this particular video so we have to deal with the quadrant systems as you already know in the mathematics itself uh, as it is in the slc before slc like uh, ninth or eighth class this quadrant system over there so this is the two dimensional figure so it is called the first quadrant second quadrant and third quadrant and fourth quadrant right so here signs are as you already know it is the standard that is positive positive right as this is the x axis and y axis so these are the positive signs for the x and y over here so in this particular case it is uh, negative and positive right and this is negative negative right and this is uh, negative and positive over there right so these are the signs which are the standard ones so sorry this is positive negative over here positive negative as x axis is positive and y axis is negative over here so this is positive negative over here so this is the uh, uh, two, 2d figure over here same i have just uh, written it over here as 3d model this is the 3d figure as you are observing here this is the 3d figure so the same like this is the first quadrant and again i have written written it in the 3d format this is same the first quadrant over here on the behind that is a second quadrant uh, this, this is the third quadrant and fourth quadrant in the 3d, 3d format we have to deal with the 3d figures in this particular subject right so that is why i have written it over here so you have to understand the concepts like hp vp what is the hp and vp so this is the these are the two plans if you are observing here so this is the horizontal plan that is also called as hp which is always parallel to the ground right if you are observing this is parallel to the ground and this one is the vp which is the vertical plan which is always perpendicular on the ground so this is hp and vp you may observe in the questions uh, above hp below vp so these are uh, a variety of terminologies are here which are important to understand in this particular subject let me tell you some important terminologies in this particular case over here so first one is above above below and in front in front and behind these are the important terminologies in this particular case in every question you will see these type of uh, what we call as uh, names were there like above below in front and behind suppose if i'm taking the point in this particular uh, plan over here that is horizontal plan or in first quadrant i am taking point suppose for the sake of instance right so i may uh, tell i may uh, i can ask uh, this particular i may tell this uh, particular question is in the first plan but above the uh, above the hp and in front of vp right so this is above hp this point is above hp so i, I can write it as above hp over here above hp right if same this point is in the second quadrant i can say that it is above hp but behind vp right so above it was first point was above hp and in front of vp that means i can write above hp and in front of in front of vp this is the first quadrant case right in the first quadrant you have to write this particular case that is above hp and uh, in front of vp right 
now uh, for the second quadrant right this is the second quadrant if point is in this second quadrant plan suppose point is here in the second quadrant i can say this is uh, in hp or sometimes if the point is here so i can say that point is above hp but behind vp so vp is this and hp is this over here so it is above hp and behind vp right so in the second quadrant i can write this statement that is behind hp sorry behind vp and uh, above above hp right so above hp above hp above hp and behind vp is the case for the second quadrant right then for third quadrant if you can see over here if you can observe so third third quadrant is here if i just draw a point in this particular quadrant over here so i can say that this is below hp below hp and behind of vp right so below hp and behind of vp so i can write below hp and behind of vp behind of vp so these are the important terminologies which you have to understand so in every question you may see these type of terminologies suppose point is above hp and in front of vp there will be some uh, geometry also suppose a point is 20 millimeter above hp and 30 millimeter in front of vp like that we have to draw in this case over here so this was the third quadrant then for the fourth quadrant if i just draw a point in this particular quadrant uh, i can say that this is below hp and in front of uh, vp over here right so if you are observing this is below hp and in front of vp so this is below hp and in front of in front of vp over here so these are the four cases which you have to remember in this case over here so these are the important terminologies which you have to remember in this uh, projection of points so then later on we can solve the variety of questions in which uh, you can see that a point is uh, like uh, i have mentioned it 20 mm above hp and in front of vp so these are the terminologies i hope uh, you are easily understanding these concepts over here so these are the important questions like above below in front and behind these are the important terminologies which you have to focus on right so this is <clears throat> i will tell you again this is the point suppose it is in the first quadrant you can say that this is above hp right above hp and in front of vp over here right same like if uh, in the second quadrant is the point then you can say that it is behind vp and above hp it is above hp and behind vp over here then for the third quadrant it is below hp and behind vp and in the fourth quadrant it is in front of uh, vp and below hp over here right so <clears throat> we have to uh, what we call is consider first and third quadrant projections in this particular subject as uh, second quadrant and fourth uh, second and fourth are not in your syllabus and neither we can use those particular projection later on i will tell you uh, the reason also why we cannot use uh, these uh, what we call a second quadrant and fourth quadrant uh, what we call as projections over here so only we have to deal with first and third projections which are the comfortable ones so in the next video i will just start the variety of problems on this particular concept i hope this was the, this is the basic uh, lecture uh, you may have understood uh, these particular terminologies which is enough to un uh, understand in this particular uh, case over here so thanks for watching my video